Hi, Aaron. Thank you for your response. In your opinion, is the 225X a worthy machine that is capable of reproducing welds like the Dynasty? My current setup is a Dynasty 200DX. Thanks, Mike. Demo for 255X on stainless tube, 16 gauge, fused, and with rod. No back purge and aluminum intercooler tube. Typical 16G, please. Thank you. Hi, Mike. So what I'm going to do here is just run a low amperage Pulitzer weld on this, and that'll show you the arc stability and repeatability. And then I'll go on to do the welds that you asked. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but this is like a light colored blue, not getting dark. And the reason I did it with these colors is so it's more appealing for the thumbnail image, so you, more people will click on it. No, nobody's going to click on a colorless little weld. You can't even see it. But the correct way to do this would be to stand your torch up more so the shielding gas covers the trailing edge better. I had it pointed forward so it, it cools off, and then in the air, the weld turns colors. Hopefully that makes sense. So that welds with the gas turned up a little more and then more perpendicular to the worst work piece. You see how that's less colored, more like straw colored, gold and silver. Butt joint with no filler rod. He wanted it done without back purge for some reason, so I didn't want to burn through the whole way and blacken the backside and get those you know, those crusties that might make it more prone to crack. I'll try welding a little bit of this manually instead of in the positioner. I haven't done this in probably eight or 10 years, so I'll probably botch it. It ain't gonna look that pretty. I think this is 16th inch rod. I don't have any thinner. This would be a lot better to use something a hair thinner. There we go. I'll quit while I'm ahead on that one.
pumped up a little bit high, but I was trying to not burn through. You can say still burn through a little bit. It's kind of hard to not burn through on this thin stuff. Pretty consistent though. And this joint is easier to weld if it's on a plate that's pulling the heat out of it to help it not overheat. Okay, so that's what the machine can do. The rest is up to you. Thanks, Mike. That was a good video idea. Hopefully that answered your questions. If anybody's interested in a prime weld machine, you can help me out and use the code 6061 to save a few bucks. Order directly from their website. And if you want to learn exactly how I TIG weld and fabricate with aluminum, I teach you exactly how I do it. Arc shots like your behind my welding hood, welder settings, material selection, welder selection, everything. If anything isn't answered on the website, feel free to email me. It's only a one-time $45 payment, unlimited viewing forever.